Black Friday can be a great time to snag some travel items and products that you've been eyeing. And I did just that this past Black Friday. I tried to take advantage as much as I could of the Black Friday travel deals of 2023. I love seeing hauls of new things that people have bought for travel, so I thought it would be fun to share with you some of the new items that I bought from the Black Friday sales. So the first item is an item I got off Etsy. I love buying things off Etsy, I'm a big Etsy girl, and it is a leather glasses case. So like most people, I wear prescription glasses. And I did something this past year that I've been wanting to do for many years. And no, it wasn't LASIK eye surgery, but I got prescription sunglasses. I'm nearsighted and can't see things far away and I need my glasses to drive. Come summer, I'm squinting a lot and I can't use my sunglasses for that long because I can't see. <laughs> Between the darker lens and my poor eyesight, I just can't see anything. So wearing sunglasses has not been the most pleasurable experience for me in the past. And this has always translated over to travel, especially if I am driving somewhere or if I'm in a city where I'm doing a lot of walking and I wanna look around a lot and really take in everything. And I also wanna keep the sun out of my eye and really enjoy the beautiful city that I'm supposed to be exploring. So because I have my fancy new prescription sunglasses now, I needed a case to put them in. Now this this isn't going to be a permanent case, but this is going to be a case that I use specifically for traveling. And what drew me to this case specifically is that A, it was leather and I love leather goods. B, it was lightweight and C, I really liked the design. And especially since I tend to travel and explore a lot with my cross, with a crossbody bag or a fanny pack, I like the loop on the side because I can just attach it directly to my fanny pack or my crossbody bag. And if I know that I'm gonna be taking my sunglasses on and off, this is an easy lightweight pouch that I can just attach to my fanny pack or my crossbody bag, or I could just slip it in a front pocket somewhere. I got this for 30% off of that specific Etsy store. I also love that it it came with this little pouch as well. I thought that was a very nice touch. When I'm traveling with my travel backpack and my carry-on suitcase, I like to travel with this nifty little travel accessory called the Cincha Travel Belt. It's a belt that secures your personal item to your carry-on luggage if your personal bag doesn't have a trolley sleeve. Although I'm looking to switch things up this year, I do travel often with the Fjall Robin Konkin backpacks and they do not have a trolley sleeve. So with this belt, I can place my backpack on top of my carry-on suitcase, place a cinch of belt through the sleeve over the handle, and attach my backpack. This gives my back a much needed break when I'm walking through the airport and I can keep all of my bags together with ease. Now the problem is, is that when I'm using my cincha belt and when I carry it on trips, I have never had a case for my cincha belt. So I have been carrying it in the box that it came with, yep. <laughs> I'm sure I could stick it in the corner of my suitcase somewhere or in a pouch or in a zippered pocket, but yeah, I've been carrying it around in the box because I'm not a big fan of having loose items in my, in my suitcase, which is why I'm a really big fan of using things like packing cubes. So I took advantage of the Black Friday sale that Cincha was having and I bought myself the Cincha Stowaway Pocket. This is great now because I have something for my belt. It fits perfectly because it was designed for it. I got this item for 15% off on Black Friday. Speaking of organization, these next two products are definitely gonna help me with organization and packing this year. I got two products from CalPack. The first is the compact zippered pouches. These come in a set of three. I actually have a set of these already in the color Palm, the green color. I use these primarily for work and will take stuff out when I need to use them for travel, but I love them so much that I decided I wanted to have some that I could specifically have designated for travel. These pouches are great for throwing in in-flight essentials or keeping important travel documents together. They're just really great for organization. If you like this video and you're finding it enjoyable, go ahead and give it a like. The next item I got from CalPAC is the jewelry case. I like to wear jewelry and depending on where I'm going, I also like to wear jewelry when I'm traveling. But I've always had a hard time finding the right jewelry case for my travels. Smaller pieces like my small hoops and everyday necklace I have been using a small cadence flex capsule and for bigger items like chunkier necklaces I was using this travel jewelry case that I got from container store by a company called stackers but I don't like it 
I don't like this case. I don't like the way it's organized, but I do like how small and lightweight it is. I knew I wanted something that was organized a little bit differently inside and was a little bit bigger. So I'm excited to try this one from CalPak. I got the pouches for about 35 to 40% off and I got the jewelry case for 20% off. If you saw my last video on the new Cadence capsules, then you already know what I'm about to share. I got some new Cadence capsules from their new Flex system. And let me be honest, I didn't really need these items. Items, but I really did it for the limited edition colors because I kind of like them a little bit better than the core colors, but yeah, you know. I got a few new flex tiles. I got one tile in lavender with the label cleanser and I got another tile in sand with a heart icon. I also got a medium flex capsule with a custom label of night cleanser in the limited edition color of clay. And then I got a large flex capsule in the limited edition color clay with the custom label of body oil. And I got all of these for 25% off. The last item in this Black Friday travel haul is a new piece of luggage. In 2023, I found myself doing a lot of micro trips. So a lot of weekend trips, a lot of two to four day trips, hopping in one city and hopping out. And with the structure of my current schedule and lifestyle right now, I don't anticipate 2024 being any different. The last year I was really loving and using a lot of my overnight bags and my suitcases that are small enough to go under the seat on the plane. So I wanted to buy something new for these shorter trips that I know I'll be taking. I knew I wanted wanted something soft-sided, a spinner, and something that could fit under the seat in front of me. And I ended up deciding on the Samsonite Ethereum <laughs> Underseater Spinner. I decided on this particular luggage because I liked that the wheels had a 360 spin. From online, it seemed like it had some good depth to it. And I liked that it had a separate sleeve and compartment for a laptop and a tablet. And also it has a trolley sleeve in the back. So there's a lot of things going for it. So these are just some of the things that really drew me specifically to this bag over others. But I am excited to use it and keep you guys updated on how I like it and how it's traveling. And I got this bag for 35% off. Like I said, this is a bag that can fit under the seat in front of you but if you are looking for a good carry-on piece of luggage then you might want to consider this one in this video right here thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye